Good morning, everybody. Yes, we good morning. are coming to you from Austin, Nevada yep. at a hot springs on BLM land. Um, we found this campsite on free campers, I believe it was called the website. Um, I can put the link to that down below and we can show you on a map where, where we're at. But we kind of want to start doing this thing where we, when we go on trips, where we kind of do a good morning chat, where we talk about our experience, if we recommend coming here, yeah. um, and about just little details. So. Yeah, I think it's helpful because we, <clears throat> it's not easy to find good camping spots, no. especially not good um, boondocking spots, so. Especially for tent campers. We find it helpful when people do this, so yeah. we figure why not do this too. Yeah, so. so we are, what is the name of this place? It's, I always forget. Spencer's Spencer, Hot Springs. Right? Spencer's Hot Springs. Yeah. You can find it on Google Maps, um, but the directions don't take you. Supposedly, we didn't follow Google. We followed the uh, website that Kelsey's gonna link. Yeah. yeah, and literally, I we obviously like to stay. We prefer to stay on free BML land. It tends to be more awesome camping, and it's free, and it's just overall awesome. We just like boondocking. That's kind of our style. Plus our, our dog. Yeah, yeah our dog. Um, we like to let him. He likes to roam. Him. Yeah, off leash, so it's a little bit easier when you can get more space between you and other people. Yeah. So you can kind of let him off, let him explore. He loves it. Yeah. But at campsite, he's on a leash the whole time, and he's pretty miserable. So. Right. The directions were pretty on point. Yeah, they got us here directly. Mm -hmm. um, it is a little confusing to, like, navigate. And on the website, they say, like, when you pull up, you just have to look out for the hot springs. You can't see it's them. It's not really that easy. And we got here when it was light out. So if you're getting here when it's dark, you're gonna have a hard time. You're gonna have a hard time. A lot of people just said the night they got here, they just parked wherever and they That'd be the smart thing to do. camped wherever. And then the next morning, if you're staying for more than one day, they yeah. kind of drove around and saw where there was um, other camp spots. I'd say the best thing that you could do is kind of what we did. Is there's one kind of hilltop. Oh yeah. And you can drive up to the top of it or walk, whatever. So you can outlook and see where all yeah, there. exactly. Go to the top, it's not very tall. You can go up to the top and kind of look around. You can see all the hot springs from the top. That's how we figured out where all the hot springs yeah. were. Just uh, gives you a good perspective because they're not that easy to find if you're just driving around. I would say, in our opinion, we think we have the best campsite. Definitely, we are not camped near one of the hot springs which is another point we'll get to in a second because i have a lot to say about the next okay. topic we on the website there was this guy who stayed here for four days and he kind of camped at a bunch of different locations and he mm -hmm. said this one the one we were we are at is the best it's like halfway up the mountain but you kind yeah, of have you can't miss it there's a concrete it looks like they were gonna make wall. a mine out of like they were gonna or maybe they did and then collapsed or something yeah it has um yeah did you just say it has three walls no. Kiko, come here. Come on, bud. So it has three walls, um, so you're really protected from the wind, which is a problem when you're out in the desert. And it has a um, rock fireplace. There's two fire pits already. Yeah. I will say if you're sleeping on the ground, you might want to rake it first. <laughs> well, it's just um, all rocks. That's there's a lot, why of rocks, a lot of rocks. Unless here. you... Two things. One, you wouldn't be able to get an RV to this exact spot. No. So that's one thing we because... have going for us is yeah. everybody else is pretty much in RVs. The second thing is that if you are sleeping in a tent, um, it's just all kind of like inch and a half rocks. Yeah. So we have a cot that we sleep on. We are going, doing we are a review going for. to be doing a review on it because so it's So we're up epic. off the ground. It has you, changed camping for us. It's been nice. But so nice. yeah, if you have like a rooftop tent or whatever, or like a sleeping pad, you'll be fine. Yeah. But, um, and you have like counter space, which is awesome. And you can just see yeah. what is going on on the entire campground. Yeah, the view here is... So you can see, nice. like, if people are using the hot springs or if they're yeah. not using the hot springs. Yeah, um, or which ones are in use, which ones aren't. You can kind of pick and choose. Yeah. We just kind of overlook in the whole valley. It's awesome. Yeah, it's super beautiful up mm -hmm. here. And we might even stay another day just because yeah, we, we kind of need a zero day. But... So one thing you will find if you go on that website is that it recommends not parking right next to the hot springs 
because these are public lands and the hot springs are for public use. It's courtesy. And it's courtesy because it is awkward if someone has their RV parked right next to a hot spring. People will, I mean. For you to just go up there. When we got here, there was people parked at every single hot spring. Yeah. Like camp, their campers like were it. set up. <laughs> like they were there. They for were the, living there. They were there for the day. Yeah. Um, and so we just ended up waiting till like sun down kind of and then yeah. we just went and joined like a little there was like three people kind of around one hot spring mm -hmm. and we just drove up and we're like hey mm. we're here we're gonna yeah. use this um, but it was nice we ended up meeting them they were nice too yeah that was super awesome that hot spring yeah. meets down there is like steamy let's try that one today we'll check it out yeah yeah. But overall, I think it's awesome. It's a great spot. Highly recommend totally it. Totally recommend it. Yep. It's pretty freaking epic. There are donkeys. Yeah. Loud. <laughs> Loud donkeys. Donkeys that will come like right up to your tent and just <laughs> right in your yeah. tent. But yeah, yeah, totally recommend. Get your butt out here to Austin, Nevada. Yeah. Spencer Hot Springs, pretty cool spot. Spencer Hot Springs. There yeah. aren't signs for it. The, the sign that's on the highway is for caves. Which we also want to go check out. Yeah. So, just keep that in mind. There's no um, there's no sign. So, follow the directions on the website that Kelsey will link. Mm-hmm. We'll get you there. Oh, yeah.